Good morning and welcome to this morning's children's talk from Providence Baptist Church. We're continuing our stories from 1 Samuel in the Old Testament. And we've been hearing about how the Israelites told their leader Samuel that they wanted to be like other nations and have a king to lead them. God told Samuel to give them what they wanted. And it was not Samuel they were rejecting, but God himself. And rejecting God is something that never ultimately ends well. Last week, we heard about lost donkeys and how the search for them by a young man named Saul ended with Samuel anointing him as leader. But the people as a whole still did not know. So Samuel told them to assemble at Mizpah. They assembled and then Samuel chose by tribe, choosing Benjamin, and then by clan, choosing Matri, and then by family, choosing Kish, and lastly, Saul was chosen. But they couldn't find him. God said to Samuel, he has hidden himself amongst the baggage. And there they found him, a head taller than other men. Then the people shouted, long live the king. Samuel explained the regulations of the kingship and then dismissed the people. Saul went to his home in Gibeah with valiant men whose hearts God touched. Now the Ammonites besieged Jabesh Gilead. The men of Jabesh Gilead tried to make a treaty with them, but Nahash the Ammonite would only do so if he might blind them all in their right eyes. The elders asked for seven days to see if anyone would come to help, otherwise they would surrender. When the message reached Saul in Gibeah, he was furious and called on all the people. It was night when Saul's army arrived. We will use night vision to see what happened. Saul's army broke into the camp of the Ammonites and fought them, utterly defeating them. They all went to Gilgal and confirmed Saul as king. We will have one more story about Saul next week. Thank you for listening.